Hey plant nerds, welcome back to my channel. Today's drink of choice is Baker's Bourbon. It is a small batch bourbon distilled by the same place that gives you Jim Beam. Hello my friends, if this is your first time here, welcome, my name is Adam. I mostly put out videos and content relating to plants, however, sometimes you will get the occasional random video slash vlog slash honestly whatever I feel like putting out. I have a giant zit on my nose. Yeah, whatever. Today I wanted to talk about propagating Hoya and more specifically propagating Hoya linearis. The Hoya linearis is one of my favorite Hoya just because of the way it looks. And before I actually owned it, I had no idea that these leaves were fuzzy or a velvety texture. It is one of those Hoyas that I was in love with and then as soon as it arrived, I fell even more in love with it. And I always want to make a big full pot of the Hoya linearis. To do that, you have to chop and prop your plant. So that is what we're doing today. We are going to propagate my Hoya. The method that I am using, I first saw from an Instagram account, Verde Alcove. And the first ever IGTV video I saw of hers was propagating string of hearts. And I tried it and it worked perfectly. And then I saw that she had a video on propagating Hoya linearis, so I tried that as well. And sure enough, that also worked like a charm. So today I'm going to show you my method from watching that IGTV video. There are a few things you need and that first thing is an actual Hoya Linearis Vine. The next thing you're gonna need are some scissors, some alcohol, rubbing alcohol, some pots, soil, and some water. So what I do is I grab my scissors that I have disinfected using alcohol. So you have a node here where the leaves are coming out and then you have a little chunk of stem which is called the internode and then you have another node and it continues down the vine. So what you want to do is cut halfway on that internode between each node. Now I will say at the end of the vine I usually leave two nodes so I'm not going to cut this end but the rest of them I will cut in between each node. There is actually a white sap that comes from this plant when you cut it. So I would suggest wearing gloves and working on a surface that has been, first of all, disinfected, and second of all, not something that these can stick onto. The next thing you wanna do is grab your nursery pots and you want to fill them with soil so that they're level on the top. So now that we have our cups of soil, you want to take your cuttings that you have made from your Hoya linearis and place them into the soil in an upright position. If you remember the Hoya before we cut it, it kind of hangs down from the pot like so. So when I say upright position, we need to take these cuttings and stick them in the soil this way because new growth will come up out of the bottom node or the node that we have cut and create a new vine. So when you take your Hoya linearis cuttings, you wanna make sure that you know which is the part that you want to stick in the soil and which is the other part that you want the vine to grow out of. I'm sure there's a way easier way to say that. What I do is I take my cutting and just place it into the soil and kind of tap the soil in around it. All right, 
right, so there we have it. We have our Hoya Linearis cuttings in their pots. Now the next thing we do is spray them or I like to just mist the top of the soil really, really well. And the final step is just placing your brand new propagated cuttings in a very brightly lit and very humid spot in your house. That may mean you put it into your propagation box, which may be a clear plastic storage bin, much like the one I use. Ta-da! But I would take it one step further and suggest buying a glass cookie jar much like this one that i have here that i picked up from walmart i refer to these as my magic cookie jars because i will show you what the propagations of my hoya linearis and my string of hearts look like that have been sitting in one of these jars and honestly all i do is put the pots in the jar i might give it one more spritz just to pump up the humidity. And then I put the lid on and I set it near a brightly lit window. I don't know how many of you have seen Indian in the Cupboard. It was a book that I believe we had to read in third grade or the teacher may have read it to us, but there was a movie that came out. I remember being very interested in that whole cupboard. It was magic, but that's kind of what I refer to this cookie jar as in my head. Anyway, nobody cares about that. What we do care about is results. And I am going to show you the results from my Hoya Linearis propagation, the one that I did before I decided to do this one on video because I didn't want to look a fool and just do it on video and have them all die. So the first propagations I did actually was a huge success and that's why I decided to make this video. This one is actually the biggest size that I found at Walmart. The one I just showed you was kind of a step down. I have a bunch of propagations, but first I'm gonna show you my string of hearts, my variegated string of hearts that I did from the first video I ever saw from Verde Alcove. So the method she shows about propagating, and I may do a video on that as well. If you guys would be interested in that, let me know in the comments. They refer to it as the butterfly method, which basically is what we did with the linearis. You cut on either side of a node and you kind of push that node down into the soil. And from that node is where new vines grow. And sure enough, literally every single one of these string of hearts nodes has pushed out a new vine. You can see like all the tiny new vines here, just pushing out new growth. And here's another one because I did them in multiple little pots. But you can see like all of those sticking up out of the soil are the brand new vines because before this had grown, it literally was just the nodes and the leaves pushed into the soil. So obviously this really does work well. And again, I highly recommend some sort of glass enclosure like this. The next thing I wanna show you is a string of hearts, and these are not variegated, but just a regular string of hearts grown from seed. I had my string of hearts, which you can kind of see right here. They constantly flower, but for some reason it got pollinated and it created a seed pod. And then I harvested those seed pods to then plant just to see if I could stick them in a little nursery jar or pot and put them in here and if it would germinate. And sure enough, you can see here, none of that was any kind of leaf propagation. Those were all seeds that have grown. And this, some of those seeds have been in there three, four months and some of them have just been in there for a couple months. I kept adding seeds. This jar has been the perfect environment for them. And what we finally came for is the success or the results of my Hoya Linearis propagation using the node cutting in soil method. When did I start that? Okay, so you can see I started this propagation on November 14th, 2019. So it has been almost two months in soil and in the magic cookie jar. And every single one of these propagations has either rooted and or grown a new vine, as you can see here and here. 
all of these are doing really well. And the end cutting here of the vine that I took has actually produced a tiny little peduncle. Okay, so we have some root growth there, but it's not like substantial. It's not like a whole network of roots. Apparently it's enough to keep the plant happy and healthy. This all just happened from that one cutting. You can kind of see here, you can see here where I cut it from and you can see the roots that it has grown and this is all a brand new vine. So this method does work. I'm going to leave these in here a bit longer and more than likely I will transfer all of these to Passive Hydro. I have pieces from this Hoya that I actually took these vines from growing in Passive Hydro and they are doing extremely well. It was just this one vine here that is producing a peduncle at the end and it has sprouted off these three vines. Anyway, my friends, I really hope you enjoyed the old chop and prop of my Hoya. I would recommend you giving it a try if you've been wanting to propagate your Hoya, but you've been a little afraid. And also really highly recommend these glass cookie jars from Walmart and or Target. Yes, there are always 101 ways to propagate plants and I just wanted to show you what worked for me best when I tried to propagate my Hoya linearis. I hope you decide to give it a try and I hope you have success. But that is actually all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up down below and if you hated it, just give it a thumbs up anyway. <laughs> and as always, I appreciate you hanging out with me. Thanks for watching. I don't remember who asked me about this and I don't know if you're probably even watching to the end of this video, but somebody made a comment about the things that I use and the ends of my glasses. And I think I answered part of their comment, but I didn't ever tell them about this. I will put these in my Amazon store linked in the description but these are just a little silicone behind the ear glasses holder. This gripper for all of the Warby Parker glasses that I have bought is a lifesaver because my nose gets oily, the glasses start to slide down, I'm constantly doing the nerd push, um, and these have completely taken that away. I don't need to push up my glasses, they stay behind my ear, hidden. You can barely see them and they hold my glasses in place perfectly. So I would highly recommend them. They will be linked down below for all you four eyes out there. And honestly, they've been tried and tested. I play sand volleyball, I play court volleyball, and I've worn my glasses through all of those. And these things have kept them on my face when I'm sweating, when I'm not sweating. They're just a good investment and they're actually pretty cheap. I hope the person that asked is still watching this video. And if they aren't, then maybe somebody is that would like to wear these because honestly, they're perfect. Excuse you. Hey. What you doing? What are you doing? Well, now you're stuck.